What you reading? Oh, much ado with about nothing. I love that one. It's all, it turns into a tragedy near the end, but then it works itself out, and everybody lives happily ever after. Well, except Don John. <laughs> so what's your name? Oh, uh, Clementine. Nice to meet you, Clementine. <laughs> so do you actually like Clementines? Um, no, I find them a bit bitter for my taste. But Clementines are sweet. I know, it's just... I'm extraordinarily unlucky when it comes to food selection. <laughs> so, there's this guy. Uh -huh. And he's only ever acknowledged my existence, like, once. But I don't know how to get into his life without... Without crossing into stalker territory? Yeah. Although I was getting somewhere with the last one, I just... You were getting nowhere with the last one, and you just made it worse. Clementine, you just need to be honest and direct. That is the safest and normalest way to communicate your feelings. So what you're saying is, tone it down to casual side research. No. Clementine, that's stalking. Damn it. Clementine, if you're ever gonna get anyone to like you, then you have to stop snooping into their lives. I, I know it seems reasonable, but it just doesn't work. Look, just try to get to know him. And if he doesn't like you for who you are, then cut him out of your life. It isn't worth it. Okay. How about some light observation? No. I think my odds are excellent. He was definitely checking me out at the track, so I just need to resist from stalking him. Easy peasy.
out there. I saw your mom looking through your room last night. What? I know, it's such an invasion of privacy. You were at my house last night? Clementine, if you're ever gonna get anyone to like you, then you have to stop snooping into their lives. Oh, I, I was just... You're such a stalker. to your hand. Oh, I, I heard it. Right. Anyways, I wanted to apologize for blowing up at you yesterday. I realized afterwards that you're probably just walking by and not actually stalking me. Right. Yes, I was minding my own business, going on my nightly stroll. Right. I was wondering if I could buy you Froyo or something to make it up to you. Oh! No, I... Yeah! I, um, I mean, I won't be feeling well. I, oh, I don't, I don't feel well. So I should... Uh, okay. What are you doing here? Well, you said you weren't feeling well, so I brought you some soup. I know it's cliche, but I... <laughs> this is tomato soup. Uh, yeah. Where's the chicken noodle? What? Have you ever seen a movie before? You're supposed to bring chicken noodle soup. So, are you feeling any better? Uh, yeah, a little bit. I was just stressed about a test or something. So, maybe I could join you on your nightly stroll then? Your nightly stroll. You said that's the reason why you're near my house. The oh, other night. I did say that, didn't I? Yeah. Um. Yes. Just give me a second. Stay here, okay? <laughs> My turn. Favorite jelly bean flavor, go. All the white ones. All the white ones. <laughs> 
Even butter popcorn? Especially butter popcorn. Dude, that's just weird. I like how realistic the flavor is, okay? <laughs> exactly, that's what weirds me out. Okay, does it taste like melted butter or do they hollow it out and put the melted butter in there? No, that's not how they do it. It's all artificial. See, it's like buying butter flavor maple syrup at the grocery store. <laughs> Touche. I still think you're weird, though. Hey. <laughs> Clementine, I have a girlfriend. like you for who you are, then cut him out of your life. It isn't worth it.